Hello everybody, Rusted Ground here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. The previous episode was uh, a little bit longer than uh, usual, and that's just because I really didn't want to cut anything uh, from it. I, I sometimes um, cut some of the, you know, when I travel to places and stuff like that, I don't leave everything in there. Um, most of the times I do, but sometimes I don't. But uh, the reason why I wanted to have the previous episode be a little bit longer was because there was a lot of things that have happened, right? And it just didn't, yeah, it just didn't feel right to to shorten it or to split it into two episodes. Um, the like I said, a lot of things have happened in the previous episode, especially with the um, with the Indian reservation and and. Dutch's involvement in uh, in all that, uh, which is again something that I don't agree with, and Arthur doesn't agree with. Uh, but the thing that impressed me the most, um, actually, was the conversation, the conversation that Arthur had at the end with uh, the sister. Um, I have to admit, when when Arthur said that he is afraid, it really it really struck a chord with me because you can see I mean yeah you can see the emotion on yeah. you know and the struggle in Arthur's um, demeanor um, and I think he feels that there is nothing that he can can do uh, right now and that he is just basically going towards um, a, an inevitable end uh, he knows he will die because of his sickness and he is not yeah he's not happy um, so I don't know I don't know how things will um, will evolve here but uh, Personally, I'm really, I'm sorry, you know, about about what Arthur needs, to, what Arthur is struggling with, and yeah, it's just, it's, it's sad. Who's that? It's me. Arthur, hope you had a good old time while I've been stuck standing here. I don't know what Bill's problem is, to be honest. I. I don't know, I feel like throughout the story here, I Bill is one of the characters that I didn't really get a chance to know. Um, and I don't really know what his problem is with Arthur. Now, we're going to meet Sadie here and see what like she needs help with. Um, so let's let's see now. This is it. You okay? Peach. <laughs> you sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. What for? Do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. Uh -oh. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw a calm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. Like you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. Wow. Okay, we get a choice. Oh, man. I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure here, but based on the conversation that tell you what, Arthur had with the I'll sister. It, but there's something you could help me with. Abigail, Jack, John, make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. when the time comes. Or how do you mean? Mm -hmm. When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I. Whoa, when you what? 
You know, you and me, we're more ghosts than people. But them, they, they could... I know. Mm-hmm. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? Yeah, let's go with her. Thanks, Arthur. I think this is... Okay. This can be his... Um, act of love that the sister was telling him about. This is something that he can do for someone else. For killing. Huh. Hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. That gun looks very for big for them, her. <laughs> there's a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off and then we um hold on a second there. Oh. We'll take it from there. Take it from there. Okay. So no real plan then. Oh, I got a plan. Now come on. Yep. Is that a woman? Jesus. Who the hell is that lady? Hey, that's the lady from the hanging. Come on. Let's <laughs> Second. You're on the barn, Morgan. You understand me? Yes, ma'am. Die real quick.
a second. I think Sadie can handle herself there. I mean, I hope she can. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go help her. I didn't see any fat bearded guys, so I'm assuming Sadie has got him in the house there. Where is she? Oh, she's upstairs. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Arthur, come on. Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories wow. of him. She realizes care. that. No, I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> oh, we, uh, we should get away from her. I think I need to be alone for a bit. Okay, so I understand. It's fine. You, uh, I want to get yourself cleaned up. Yeah. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> yeah, that was. Wow. Okay. <sighs> Crazy. Okay, well, since we're here. Let's investigate, I guess, you know. You have discovered the gang hideout. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this was the O'Driscoll's hideout. Nope, I can't take that. Yeah. Second thought. Maybe this is not, <clears throat> maybe this is not um, Arthur's, oh, I'm wanted here, really? Okay. This is interesting. Okay. Let me see if the, let's see if the... If anybody's gonna come in here, you know, they might be showing up. Hmm? Yep, they might be showing up in here. Damn it. Okay, hold on a second. Unknown suspect. Crap. 
document, there's a document here. Let's have a read really quickly. Dear Tom, I write you from my cell in Saint Denis. I am sure whoever is vetting this letter would have no quarrel with my telling you I am kept away from the main jailhouse. On the other side of town. Damn it. I need to... Damn it, this ain't some gruesome shit. Crap. Well, this is gonna be interesting. A second. You greenhorns, get this done now. Hold on a second. Got a corpse. Oh man. They might not come in here anymore. Is there a is there a back back way? I don't think there is. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Slow and steady. They're investigating apparently. But <laughs> okay, that's it. We're in the clear, guys. <laughs> Give me one second here. Let me just check this document that we just got here. Was it collection of letters, invitations? Uh, man, no. Hunting requests, cigarette cards. Notes? Was this the thing that I... Blue Water Marsh... Yeah. No, this is not it. Oh man, I won't be able to find... Can I... Recent... Hold on. Lemoyne Raiders... Hunting requests... A letter from Penelope... A letter from Penelope? What? Uh, nope. How do I find this letter that I was just reading? I don't know. Okay. Letter from Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar. No, this is not it. This is something different. Oh, damn it. Now I can't find the... Can't find that document. I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed now. Hold on. Notes. Blue water. Marsh. No. Is it this one? I don't think it's this one. Though. No, it's not. Is it in the journal, maybe? Let me have a look here. If it's any mention in the journal... A 
After putting him on the train, I bumped into the nun sister. Okay, she gave me a few home truths about existing in the world and perhaps the next. In this world and perhaps the next. Maybe I have got something to hope for anyway. It all sounded very pretty and took away all the dread I've been feeling. No. Okay. Listen, I can't find that note. Unfortunately. Which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Nobody knows that I've, I'm here. Yeah. Or maybe they do. Well, they're just about to leave. This ain't bad. I suggest you take that mask off right now. I ain't a man to disrespect, you hear me? Mm-hmm. All right. I think we got out. Girl. Cool. Let me just do this, and then we're getting out of here. <laughs> Wow, this is very far away. Okay, this is very far away. I'm very annoyed um, that I that I didn't get the um, that I di didn't get that note. I can't find it now. Oh man, I'm just gonna try it one more time. Handbill, cigarette cards, books, maps. Business cards, no. Invitations, it can't be an invitation. It has to be a letter. It has to be some sort of a letter or a note. It has to be a note. Yeah, exotic meeting notes. Meeting notes? What is this? No, this is not it. It can't be a hunting request, right? No, this is... what? If you are proficient with a gun or arrow, we seek uh, animals for a wildlife art exhibition. Oh, okay. Uh, one adult rabbit and one average squirrel. Yeah, well, I don't want that. Okay, we're just gonna get out of here. Yeah. Let's just get out of here and maybe get something to eat. Okay, so Sadie got her revenge. And in return, she made a deal with Arthur that she will help John when the time comes. So, <clears throat> basically, Arthur's plan is to make sure that John and his family um, remain alive through whatever it is that is going to happen. Because he knows uh, that things will get worse from now, especially after that incursion with the army that we had in the previous episode. And, yeah. And he also knows that he won't be alive much longer anyway, so whether he dies now or he dies from his uh, injury, from his, uh, sorry, from his illness, does it doesn't make that much of a difference to him, so, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let's... Whoa, 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 what do we have here? Hold on a second. What, what, what? What is this? What's going on here? Hello? Oh, these guys? Come on, guys. You are a fool and a nuisance, brother. Helen, is this creepy Are you gonna jump or something? You again? Shall I 
throw him off. This is getting quite out of hand. Hand. Oh, Arthur. Mm -hmm. How are That's you? Me. Never better. See, you two haven't changed much. No, he's still a lizard. Coward, gerbil, mommy's boy. Manatee. Effluentous charge. Milk sap. You already said that. Uh, I did not. <laughs> You're a milk sap. Well, you are all chatter and no testes, dear brother. Helen, I will make you love me if it's the last This is so pointless what they're doing here. She prove. is so uninterested How in doing and seeing them do this. To make a happy and stable life with. I shall throw myself over the waterfall right. in just a barrel. Right. And so that's, shall that's I. A great idea. Just to demonstrate how little your feeble gestures mean, you homunculus. Arthur, please come do the honors. Sure thing. And make of sure we, um, uh, you silly little tapeworm of a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow me. Perfect. Follow you? I was born first. Helen, I love you. And brother, you're living proof of God's remarkable sense of humor. Why doesn't she say anything? I'm gonna just push them because she doesn't. She's she isn't saying anything. So. Good luck, crazy bastard. <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> the fools! Yep. The silly fools! I cannot believe they did this. Come on, <laughs> let's go try and find them. Really? Really? Okay, get on your horse. Follow me. Yeah. They've been carried down a ways. We can't get there from this first path. Hold on a second. Easy now. <laughs> okay. Do you think they're all right? Well, they might be. You want them to be all right? Of course. Whatever do you mean? <laughs> I'm just thinking. It Ooh, might be easier for you if. Only one of them was, you know, cats remaining. <laughs> oh, we here they are. Them. Okay. Acrisius, what have you done? <laughs> Morons. Brother, are you there? Acri, huh? is that you? Huh? I've had the wind knocked out of me. I thought you were a goner. Uh, it's a miracle we're alive. <laughs> silly, silly <laughs> boys. You nearly died. You sure did. For me. Right. She's right. Dear brother, what fools we've been. <clears throat> You're the fool. Wow. But a brave one. You might be dense, but you are the noblest man I know. You are a lion. Giant. You're an earth shaker. World oh, okay. conqueror. Let's Ow. not let anything come between us again. Never. <laughs> Boys? I, I, Good lady, adieu. Um... <laughs> Bewitch some other milk sops. We will have none of it. But I, I thought Let, that... Before this siren calls us to the rocks again, let us away from here. You lead the way, brother. The west awaits. Boys! Right. Boys! <sighs> There's quite some suitors you've picked there. I was trying to stop them from killing themselves. Where are you, though? They won't last a week without mm -hmm. me. Probably not. But you'll have an easier time. I guess I will. So long. So long, I guess. Oh, I wasn't trying to lead him on, you know? Right, right. It was just uh -huh. exciting. Mm -hmm. The smartest man I knew. Mm -hmm. With positively the least sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's usually the way it works. Good luck. <laughs> after, after everything that happened with those brothers. I mean, we, we punched them, we kicked them, or we shot things off of their bodies. Uh, what, you know, what's going on here? Hmm. Oh, there isn't anything in here. Okay, anyway, it is what it is. Their story okay. came to a conclusion. That's it. Right. Let's go. We were going this way. We have a long way to go. So, let's get going.